एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज ज्योति वर्मा टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ सक्सेशन दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द बी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स एज वेल एज फॉर द एम एस सी स्टूडेंट्स सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट सक्सेशन देन सक्सेशन इज अ प्रोसेस दैट इन्वॉल्व स्टडी एंड ग्रेजुअल चेंज इन अ स्पीशीज ऑफ अ गिवेन एरिया विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द चेंजिंग इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशंस so if you look at this diagram then this is an example of hydrosphere which is the succession taking place in a pond so if you look at this diagram then you will be able to see in this diagram that there is gradual change within the species as there is changes in the environmental conditions taking place so at the beginning you are having uh, phytoplanktons in the pond and later on the environmental conditions and the different factors are involved in the process that leads to change in the form of the species and ultimately the pond has been converted into a forest after a long period of time so that process is called as the succession in the process of succession there are three types of communities that are involved the first one is the pioneer community that is regarded as the first biotic community which is present on the bare area then the second one are regarded as the serial stages or the serial communities which are the intermediate stages within the process of succession and the final community is regarded as the climax community which is the final or stable community of the process of succession so as in this diagram you can see that how the changes are taking place and how the pond has been converted into a forest and this process we call succession so ecological succession is the steady and gradual change in the species of a given area with respect to changing environment so as the environment goes on changing then the particular species that are present within the particular area also goes on changing and this change is steady and gradual that is called as the succession the term ecological succession was given by ragnar holt in 1885 as we have discussed earlier that the process of succession consists of three types of communities the first one is the pioneer community that is the first biotic community which develops on bare area as we have discussed earlier in the case of hydrosphere that the, the phytoplanktons that were there was the pioneer community and if we define community then community includes various species which are interacting in an area now coming to the second one that is the serial communities these are regarded as the transitional communities within the process of succession and it is the intermediate stage in the process of succession and the final stage of the process of succession involves the climax community which is regarded as the final or stable community of the process of succession now coming to the process of succession so clements in 1916 described the process of succession into following steps the first step is the nudation that involves the formation of bare area to provide a site for colonization of the pioneer community so it is very essential for the process of succession that there must be a bare area on which a pioneer community can colonize so the first step is the formation of bare area the second step is the invasion that involves the arrival of propagating parts like the seeds of different plants from the surrounding area into the bare area this process of invasion involves three steps the first one is migration that involves the dispersion of fruits and seeds from the nearby area the second step is excesses that involves proper establishment including germination of seeds sprouting of vegetative propagules establishment of seedlings and their proper growth and colonization so it involves the proper germination of seeds or particular propagule in that barren area the third step in the process of invasion is aggregation so as the plant has grown to a particular area then it will ultimately reproduce and will produce their offsprings so that will involve aggregation 
after that there will be competition because lots of different species of plants have grown there and it will lead to intraspecific struggle or intraspecific competition as well as interspecific competition among the plants for space water minerals light or nutrients so the fourth step here is the reaction that involves the interaction between the plant community as well as the environment so as the environmental conditions are go going on changing and the plant community is going to respond positively to that environment that involves a kind of reaction between the plant community and the environment and it basically involves the uptake and release of materials between the plant community as well as within the environment now coming to the final step of the process of succession that is regarded as the climax and it is the final or the stable community in the successional series a climax is a permanent and most stable community of the succession which develops a kind of dynamic equilibrium within the environment so the community that is able to resist the changes within the environment that makes a kind of balance with the environment will be regarded as the climax community or it is also regarded as the most stable form of community within the successional series if we talk about the theories related to climax then there are two important theories related to this aspect the first one is the monoclimax theory given by clements in 1936 and the second one is polyclimax theory given by tansley in 1939 so clements in 1936 given that every region has one climax community and it is basically influenced by climate so according to him climate was the main determining factor for the vegetation and the step of climax that's why he given the term climatic climax so according to him every region has one climax community and climate is the most important determining factor for the process of climax coming to polyclimax theory given by tansley according to him not only the climatic factors but also the edaphic biotic and different factors and their combination have equal impact on the formation of climax community and according to him more than one vegetation climax is controlled by different factors according to him there are different factors that are contributing to different vegetation climaxes now coming to the basic types of succession so primary succession is basically the succession that is originally taking place within a barren site or a area like pond rocks or sand dunes so it is such type of area that was never previously colonized by any type of plant so it is a completely barren site and succession taking place on that site is called as primary succession and it is ultimately a slow process coming to secondary succession it occurs in an area which was previously well colonized but vegetation has been completely destroyed on that area by natural calamity or by man interferences so suppose there is an area having a forest and that forest was completely destroyed by certain natural calamity leading to that area to become barren and succession on that area is called as secondary succession and it will ultimately be faster in comparison to the primary succession because resources are available on that area for the process of succession coming to autogenic succession so the succession that proceeds slowly is called as the autogenic succession coming to allogenic succession that succession is influenced by external sources like addition of nutrients manure fertilizer from outside so when you are providing certain things from outside to influence the process of succession then such type of succession is called as allogenic succession coming to autotrophic succession in this type of succession the dominating communities are green plants heterotrophic succession involves dead and decaying organic matter of the soil and the participants in this type of succession are mainly saprophytic fungi bacteria and actinomycetes so this type of succession that is dominated by the heterotrophic uh, components of the community then this type is called as the heterotrophic succession 
coming to hydrosphere or hydrarch it involves succession of aquatic habitat like pond or lake mesosphere or mesarch that is the succession starting within a place where moderate amount of water is there so that type of succession is called as mesosphere zero sphere the succession that is taking place within a xeric environment where water scarcity is there is called as xerarch or zero sphere in this type the examples are succession of sand dunes succession of rocks or succession of deserts lithosphere that basically involves succession of barren rocks samosphere that involves succession on dry sands or sand dunes halosphere that involves succession in saline environment like in saline lake or saline soil cereule is basically a miniature succession of microorganisms like the bacteria and different types of fungi which are growing on decaying wood so this type of succession is called as cereule coming to another one that is retrogressive succession and in this type of succession the community becomes more simpler as we move towards the climax community it will become more simpler uh, having fewer species and lesser biomass so it is a kind of retrogressive succession so that is all about for today and uh, if you like the video just subscribe to my channel for further updates in our next video we will discuss about the hydrosphere thank you so much